So it's a beautiful day at the farm. This is uh, about six. This is around five o'clock in the evening. I've been on the farm since morning, making sure that everything is being done well. Now it's time to create content because as a farmer, I'm not a full-time content creator. That's the truth. So I run the farm and also have to create content. So I'm doing two jobs at once. So that's why it's kind of late, but I have to create this content for you guys. Now on this video, I'll be talking about how to fasten production at your farm and how to make sure that you are having animals as fast as possible in your farm. So that's what this video is going to be all about today. So on today's video, I'm talking about how to fasten production in your pig farm. Now, one of the questions I get often is, Chukuka, how can I fasten production in my pig farm? How can I make sure that my animals are growing as fast and as quickly as possible? Or how do I make sure that my animals are producing as fast as possible? Now, there are three things I would advise you if you are in this category of people who ask this question. One of the things which I do at my farm, which I will encourage other people to do is your animals. When they, your animals give birth, don't allow your animals, your, don't allow the piglets to stay with the animals for like two months. There are some farmers who do that. Like you allow the piglets to stay with their mother, suckle their mother for two months. For me, that's you wasting almost, that's you wasting the feet and wasting the time that you are meant to use to put these animals in an another production cycle. Basically on this farm, I win my animals, that's the piglets, between four to six weeks. If the animals have not gotten to at least eight kg of body weight, I leave them to stay with their mother for an extra two weeks, making it six weeks. But basically, I try to win at four weeks. If I look at it, the piglets and like they are healthy, they are at least 7 kg, 8 kg, I win them. But if they have not gotten to that weight, I give them extra two weeks. But at that extra two weeks, I make sure I win everything at six weeks. So basically on this farm, I win between four to six weeks. Now, one of the, one of the unadvisable things anybody can do, or one of the things which I would never advise anybody to do on their pig farm is to allow their animals to stay with their mothers, that is to stay with the sows, for two months. That two months, you've lost like an extra two weeks which your animals could have used to, you know, be served and they get pregnant again and they begin another production cycle at your farm. So, one of the things I will tell you guys to do now is make sure that you are winning your animals at four to six weeks. And then your sows, you all know how sows, you know, lose body weight when they are feeding their animals, when they are breastfeeding their animals. One of the worst things anybody can do is to think that they can feed their lactating sows, anything. They will lose body weight and the colostrum they are giving to these animals will not be that rich, will not be that, will not be that you know, nutritious, which will make these piglets not to gain as much body weight as possible because the nutrients which, are, which is coming out from their, from, their, uh, from their mother's breast milk is not rich because we are not giving the sow a feed that is, that is rich. So these are the things we should consider. And now the major advantage of winning these piglets at four to six weeks is that when you win at four weeks, once you win the animals, you feed them for an extra one week so that they can get, so that they can regain their body weight and then you serve them. You put for them a, a meal. Now, once you win piglets from their, from their mother, from the sow, they get into heat. That's the experience their extra cycle between two to three weeks after winning. So between that two to three weeks, you, you give them a meal and they get pregnant again. So instead of you wasting that two to three weeks, allowing the piglets to stay with their mother, you basically save yourself that time and then you, you give them to a male who serves them and then they get pregnant. Thereby you are making your production cycle even faster. Unlike when you allow your animals to stay with their mother for two, for two months, that's you basically wasting feed, wasting time, wasting labor, wasting resources, and wasting 
and delaying the time this animal should have given birth. If this animal was meant to give birth in under four months, now it will now be under five months because of the time you delayed, allowing her to stay with her piglets. So these are the things. A lot of th these are the things that you, as a farmer, you have to consider. You basically have to consider these things, else you experience losses instead of profits, because these are the things that you must do. And if you don't do them, they will have they have a way of making you, you know, they have a way of hunting you, and before you know it, you are in losses. So this is basically the things you have to do in order to make sure that your animals are producing as fast as possible. So that's basically it, guys. That's what I said. Let me share with you people on today's video. And uh, if you value the contents I put out on this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let me know your questions in the comment section. And of course, okay. see you guys in the next video. So, see you guys in the next video. Peace.